Yo, what is up, gamers? It's Sebastian. Come to a brand new video. Um, well, I wasn't expecting to do a double upload today, but the Masador ban list really uh, shocked me. But anyways, this is the video I was intending to release. Um, this came out like I think five a.m. Like basically, this came out five a.m. Masador ban is six a.m. So like, well, I'd have to do this later in the day then. Uh, but this is the Splite deck, a uh, brand new deck, uh, and I figured, you know, I'm just going to go down, break, uh, deck breakdown, and, um, I know, so just show you some combos, show you some, like, very basic combos, uh, I didn't even make the combos, my friends, like, Samuel Best and, uh, Svenoms or Belban, they made the combos, I fixed it up a little bit, made the combos look a bit tidier, uh, but, like, shout out to them, credits to them, this is pretty much their list as well. Um, and then in the side deck, I like there's some extra options. Uh, you, you don't need to see the Netflix cards; they suck. But anyway, so to start off the the deck, basically we have our we have our engine here with our E Teddy as well. E Teddy should be up here. So we have like these are our starters. We have Deep Sea Diva uh, because basically it's just you summon one, you get the other. You have two level twos. That's all you need for your combos. Uh, then we have the Punk Engine, uh, which goes with the e Teddy. if you open e Teddy, I mean, you could also just open Sea Man, like, you can normal summon, you don't really need to normal summon in this deck. Uh, so one thing you could play is, uh, Brave, you could play the Brave Engine in this as well. Um, the, the thing is, like, this comes out in Power the Element, so one thing you have to take into account is that we're gonna get two ban lists by the time we get this deck, most likely. So it's very hard to, like, take into account stuff like the adventure or brave engine because we don't know whether or not they'll be uh, legal for the deck when this comes out so like very bare bones that's why we have like 11 vanillas here these are just like blank spaces which could be anything uh this failure here is like kind of important but i'll get into that later anyways we have um the punk engine with uh the new level five uh, basically, if you synchro with this, you get to summon a punk monster from your grave. So you go like these two into a level 8 synchro, then you get to summon C your min back. And we have Foxy Toon because Foxy Toon can uh, summon the level 5. So this adds Foxy Toon, Foxy Toon specials this, then these two into uh, the Chaos Volder, and that's the combo. And we have like Emergency Teleport just to like see this more often. This is the best uh, starter, like this or C your min is the best starter. One thing to note. You can activate this in the draw phase. Uh, summon this, get the search in the draw phase so they can't draw you after you activate this. There's something to keep in mind. Do you have prosperity? This is like... Uh, so you have 12 starters, basically. Um, well, I guess this isn't a starter, but cry about it. We have, like, starter, starter here. Uh, which is, like, actually a starter as well. So basically, like, 12 stars. Basically, like, 14 starter, 15. I can't do maths. And there's Pricksperder as the Hauke target. And now on to the, on to the um, deck itself, we have Blue, Jet, uh, Pitsies, Red, and Carrot. Uh, these all have the same effect, where if you control a level or rank 2 monster, you can special summon it from your hand. Uh, seems pretty nuts, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, then this one has the bonus effect of if it's, uh, this blue, sorry, has the bonus effect where if it's special summon, you can add a monster from your deck to your hand. This one has the bonus effect where if it's special summon, you can add a spell trap from your deck to your hand. This one is, uh, this honest, uh, but it's like big attack. It's also dark, which is kind of important. And like, this is very nice for beating over monsters. And then we have one red, which is a uh, negate. You can tribute one of a level two, rank two, link two monster to negate a opponent's monster effect. And then if you tribute a rank or link two, you can destroy that monster as well. We have carrot, which is the same, but for spell traps. And that's all the sprite monsters, basically. Then we get the sprite starter, which is the special summon to sprite from your deck. Um, but you have to pay life points equal to its attack. Oh, so you get locked into level rank or link 2s for the rest of the turn, so keep that in mind. It is only rest of turn, which is, like, very nice, very cool. Uh, a lot of your, like, every every combo will basically involve this. Uh, then you have smashes. This card seems a bit shy, I'm not gonna lie. You, uh, banish a sprite from your hand or graveyard and then banish a level rank or link 2 to banish a card your opponent controls. 
Uh, not not like the most amazing card. I'm not gonna lie. But that's gonna be it for like basically the the sprite deck. Then we have like one failure for uh, combos, and then eleven slots for like hand traps or whatever you want. Now onto the extra deck, Herald, uh, everything's level 2, so that's like pretty obvious. Shooting Wiser, which is what you're summoning off Halki. Uh, in, and instead of doing Shooting Wiser send Snow, because we're not lame, we're doing Shooting Wiser send Failure to decrease the level by 1 to Crick Synchro onto Baronet on the opponent's turn. Uh, so yeah, we Halk summon Wiser on the opponent's turn, Wiser send Failure, then Wiser plus 2 level 2s can make a Baronet. Uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to send Fader, maybe you have Fader in your hand and you don't want to be locked out of using its effect, you can also Wiser plus two level twos into Trishula, which, like, most of the time this is actually the better play, uh, because if it's Synchro Summon, you can banish up to three cards your opponent controls. Why? I don't know. This banish three seems pretty nice. And then we have Baronet, obviously, you have Chaos Roller, which uh, goes with the Punk Engine. Uh, if you open, like, E-Teddy or see him in plus any dark, uh, you can, like, burst boss. Uh, it's one of the combos I show you, actually. So, yeah, that's, like, watch the rest of the video, you see the combo. Then we have Gigantic Splite, uh, which is basically Emmet Saber in Foca, except it says your opponent can't nib you after you resolve it. It's Emmet Saber in Foca, but they made it so the, your opponent can't nib or gamble you after it resolves. To be fair, if they gamma you, it's going to be on this anyways. But the fact that it's like nib protection and like deep sea diva and starter, like if you open these as your like starter, uh, you're going to like pretty much do this and summon free, which means like a lot of your combos are just going to be safe from nib because neither pair can special summon once for the rest of this turn. But yeah, basically it's just like detach one, special summon any level two from your deck. Uh, then for the Etsy's uh, <laughs> obvious package here, I'd imagine. Uh, Sprite Elf, um, your opponent cannot target monsters this card points to with card effects. I, I don't know why it has this effect, but you know, I'll take it. But the important effect during the main phase, quick effects, you can do it on the opponent's turn as well. Target level 2 monster in your graveyard to special summon it. Or if your opponent controls a monster, you can target a rank or link 2. This comes up. This actually comes up for a uh, Halki, uh, which by the way, this Halki banish effect. We're using this. Uh, spoiler alert, this Halki Banish effect is so strong. So we're, we're like actually ending with Halki on board, we're not ending with Awarodon because that's lame. Uh, and then for the rest of the extra deck, it's like Unicorn, Selene, Natsis Code, uh, Selene, like another reason to play Fader, so you can go Halk, Selene, Natsis. And yeah, that's like basically the extra deck, that's basically the deck. And now in the side deck are some other options of maybe ideas you could play. Oh, I guess, like, I, I forgot these cards as well. Uh, these are pretty pants, though. Um, so, we have, like, Dagda, Magician, Scythe. The thing is, like, you, you can, like, do Halki Dagda very easily, obviously. And then Halki can go into Wonder Magician to pop Scythe, and then you can Wonder Magician effect Synchro into Baronet with the Scythe. The issue is that this assumes in two ban lists, Dagda isn't banned and Scythe isn't banned. Right, which is like, uh, I, I feel like that's pretty unlikely. Um, so I, I'm not going to like do combos based around that. If the set comes out and those cards are legal, then I'll update the combos, obviously. But for the time being, I'm expecting <laughs> either Scythe or Dagger to get banned. So I'm not going to spend time trying to optimize that. We have Hero Kid. This card sucks. Have you read, have you read Blue? Like, Im imagine playing Hero Kid, but without having to have a Garnet that's basically blue. So, yeah, I don't know why you play Hero Kid ever. Like, I'm seeing people hype this card up. It's bad. Next, so we have, like, Tries, because, like, these are level 2. So, you can go, like, Fair G, uh, Bear, like, Bear Boom into, like, Fair G, or, like, Bear Boom into anything. Like, there's Link into Bear Boom, go into semi. You can play, like, Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat can summon these two for, like, the Etsy's. Uh, and then like Bebbin can get you a fold. This seems pretty trash. I don't like it. It's like very hard to set up, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's pretty trash. And then as we have like Netfist, these cards suck. I'm not even gonna but I don't even know what these cards do. And that's how bad they are. And finally we have the evil twins. Uh the issue with the live twins is that the the link four, uh what was it, Trouble Sunny? Because you're locked into 
because you're being locked into like level rank or link twos, you can't actually make this a lot of the time. So it seems like pretty bad in Evil Twin. But at the same time, if you go like this, if you use Gigantic Sprite, you are protected from Nib. And you have to question, right? Yes, you can't make Trouble Sunny, but is a Nib, like, is ending on the, the two Link 2s or whatever this deck does? I don't even know. Is that a better end board than Nib Token Pass? And I think the answer is maybe. So it's probably worth playing it in Evil Twin, just like, <laughs> as it is a better end board than Nib Token Pass. But anyways, that's it for the deck breakdown. It's time to get into the combos.